Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Ethanol Endeavours. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the Cornish Orchid Cider. So, um, it's, so just by starting off reading the front, um, from the West North Manor Farm, uh, pressed and blended in the heart of Cornwall, uh, it's a golden cider. As you can see from the colour, very, very fine yellow, very golden. 100% uh, fresh pressed apples and hand graded apples as well. Very, very nice um, uh, display, the aesthetic, the graphic design on it I think is nice, the, the uh, you know, it's got some nice uh, golden, you know, golden bits to it, uh, like the little thing, Cornish orchid, reminds me of this, um, I, can't, I can't actually remember, the, it's, it's cheap, it's 4% um, or 5% maybe, called orchid something, awful, it looks like, it looks like Thatcher's. Uh, really bitter, um, and 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 yeah. Anyway, anyway that's just the orchid thing. It, it's got nothing to do with this. I just it's some connotation I had with the word orchid inside it. Five percent, so not very strong. A pint, five hundred milliliters. Um, and then looking at the back here, in the heart of Cornwall, we craft our cider using one hundred percent freshly pressed apple juice. Here we discover, reinvent, and refresh in harmony with nature. This is our land, our sea, our sky, this is our way, golden cider. Light, lightly sparkling and immensely refreshing with fruity apple tones and blend and a, bl a blend of bittersweet and desert, dessert apples give this modern style cider body and crispiness, perfectly chilled on a summer evening or with a barbecue. Um, yeah, so it's recyclable, the bottle obviously, it's vegan. Also, not a surprise. Um, yeah, that's just that's just the back there. Two point five units. Um, it's a, an in, an interesting backing. I've never had something that um, haven't never had the description of it so um, I guess metaphorical. This is our land, our sea, our sky. This is our way. Here we discover, reinvent, and refresh in harmony with nature. I think that's a bit, <laughs> a bit odd, you know. Never, never heard it. Never heard a company explain it like that. But um, nevertheless, uh, it sounds interesting. And um, what I really like actually is that how it says perfectly chilled on summer evening or with a barbecue. You don't usually get um, recommendations and what to have it with with cider. Um, this, I mean, obviously it says like the flavour, and you kind of know what flavour you're getting. With a cider, but it's like it's nice to actually have something with it. Um, yeah, a blend of bittersweet and dessert apples. A modern style cider, yeah, lightly sparkling and immensely refreshing with fruity apple tones. So that's what I'm going to be looking for when I drink it. Um, it's got a nice cap, a uh, little uh, eagle thing. Also, I'm assuming this is a small. This must be a small brand because it's not very common. But it, it reminds me very much of old mouth, old moot cider. Just like the the, um, the the typewriter style lettering and stuff like that, kind of reminds me of that kind of that sort of aesthetic. It's obviously modern, um, so yeah. Let's see how it uh, how it fares. So um, smelling it, not really anything to note. Uh, it's just a cider, a little sweet. Has sweetness to it, like it says. Yeah, bittersweet. It, it, it smells bittersweet. Kind of what you would expect. Maybe a little bit on the more on the kind of dry side. Um, but nothing that really sticks out. Like you know, if if you think of a cider, this is just kind of, kind of what it is. Kind of, yeah, just just sweet, but but just bittersweet. I mean, like what well, anyway. So. What am, what am I looking for? Lightly sparkling, immensely refreshing, with fruity apple tones, bittersweet, and dessert apples. Give a modern style cider. So, I'm interesting to know to note what they mean exactly by modern style cider. I guess all the ciders I usually have, they can date back quite a bit, but this is modern. So, it's setting setting the standard. So I have to see. Wow. Yeah, this um, it's it's not, 
it's not sweet. However, it's very sugary. Like it has it has that thing in the back of your jaw, like your jaws when you when you eat an apple, or like 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 when you kind of have a sour bitter apple, and it it, it makes it kind of makes your jaw like tense. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. That's something I get. Maybe nobody else can say. Um, quite bitter, um, but not bad. Like it's not a bad bitter. It's a nice bitter. You know, I was thinking maybe this might be like one of those cheap kind of bitter ones. Um, and, and, and it's like really dry, like disgustingly dry. Um, but no, this is, this is a nice, this is a nice, uh, texture. Or mix. Smells stronger than it is, by the way. Kind of has a kind of similar t uh, smell to, and taste even to Henry Weston's. And I was talking about that in my previous episode, but it does have that mix of sweetness and uh, dryness to it. Yeah, sorry. It is. It has got flavour. Like it's got flavour, and it is. It is quite refreshing. I suppose. I wouldn't say it's not. Um, and it does have apple tones. It does. Have, although it doesn't necessarily taste of apples like some other ones, and it doesn't. It's not. You know, super sweet like an apple. It does um, have apple tones. Like they're definitely correct in that. And. Um, yeah, a blend of bittersweet. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say dessert dessert apples. It says it's not like I said it's not very sweet. But I guess this is a modern style cider, and I can't I can't bash this. It is different. It is it is it does have a different flavour to to other things like Magnus or something, for example. However, this is nice, um, and I would recommend this. Um, you know, and I think it's interesting as well because I think a lot of modern style ciders are usually like a bit more on the sweeter side. Um, in my opinion, and and this takes this takes it a bit back. Um, still not maybe as. I would, no, I, I would I would say I would say maybe it is as dry as something like Magnus or Thatcher's. It's just got a different flavour to it. It's just got a different blend, and it's a good blend as well. It's a good blend. I mean, obviously, in the West, you know, this is Cornish. You know, stuff like Thatcher's and and other things usually from Somerset. So it obviously keeping up with the tradition there, but um, the the they've obviously they you know down there in the west they've obviously got something going on. Um, they all taste pretty good and all generally quite sweet as well. It's something from the west. Yeah, it it is sparkling as well. It's on your tongue. You can you can you can tell there's a sparkly, sparkling nature of it on your tongue. A bit fizzing and stuff like that. Um, and it, yeah, it's quite good. It, it's good to savour. I think I think it's a good savoury drink. Savoury drink, yeah, definitely. Good with the barbecue on a summer evening. It's quite sunny outside, so I suppose you could say it's a summer evening. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, don't really know what to say. Don't know what to say. It's it, it's flavour. This flavour is not as um, yeah. Just a quick recap. This flavour is not as bitter as some drinks. It's got apple tones, which maybe you don't see in some other things. Not, not overly sweet. So if you're, yeah, if you're someone who like doesn't like the overly sweetness which you get in some of them, this is for you probably. It has a different flavour and it has apple tones. Um, kind of it's sort of in the aftertaste, kind of in the back of your throat, but it's not sweet. It, it it's the bitterness and the, the the sourness of apples, I guess, which is which is the um, apple tones in this. And um, this is a modern style cider. If if you're wanting to support sort of a a new brand, a newer brand, a you know up up and coming one, underground, whatever you might say, I, I would. Say it's got a lovely presentation. It's got a lovely colour to it, um, and it's got a lovely flavour to it. Um, I don't think there. I don't think. I don't think this is a really. I don't think you could dislike this at all. Really, I mean, unless you don't like cider in general. But like, if you do, like, you can't dislike this. It's different. It's new, um, and and I recommend it. To be honest, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it it's it's it, it's the standard, but just different. It it does have a different twist on it, but you know, an enjoyable twist, which is different to maybe some other kind of modern things and what they do. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, 
They ha oh, let, let me just before it. They have a website www.cornishorchids.co.uk. If you want to, ch if you want to check that out. Um, but other than that, um, oh, that's it. This has been this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've certainly enjoyed drinking this, um, and I hope you can maybe find yourself some of these and buy them because they're nice. They're, I, I, I always try to in, try to inspire and want someone else to, especially with these smaller brands, check out check out for themselves what they think of it. Because unless I specifically don't recommend it or you know say for it's a specific audience, there, I've al I'm always impressed. I'm al I'm always you know content with what I'm drinking, and uh, I want I want someone else to also to to share that experience so anyway um that's been this video um please like and subscribe comment everything like that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one uh, thanks for watching